Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon for Nintendo 3DS. We're back with even more post-game. Now, this is like the post-post-game, because we finished like the final boss of the game. I would say that Mewtwo would be the final boss in Giovanni, we finished off that episode, and now it's just going through the entire game and finding what else there is to do. And that's always fun for me, because the game kind of opened up right now. opens up right now. There's a lot of things that we can do. So, I took a look at all your suggestions on previous episodes, you guys are amazing. And of course, if you guys didn't already enter our giveaway, please do so, answer the comment question today. Who is your MVP versus Giovanni? Oh my gosh, Primarino was my MVP, and it was a tough battle. But of course, like we said before, it was like hindsight. Like, if we knew that he was gonna turn into what he was, saved our Z-move, max revive, done and done. So, I want to hear about your experience against the final boss Mewtwo. Alright, so we got a lot of things that we're going to do. I am going to go get that shiny charm, man. We want to get that because a lot of you guys have been talking about, ooh, get that big shiny, um, that shiny charm to do some shiny hunting, am I right? So we'll see. I've never really done shiny hunting before, uh, so if that's something that you guys would like to see, please let me know in the comments because I don't want to do it if you guys don't want to see it, you know, it's like, what's the point? All right, so we're gonna go to the Game Freak building. I wanna say it's over here somewhere. Is this the Game Freak building or is this like the Dimensional Research Lab? This is not the place. That's the Dimensional Research Lab. The heck's the Game Freak building? Wasn't it over here? This, right? This is the game. Is this the Game Freak building? Yeah, 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 okay, okay. I'm like, I knew it was on the street somewhere. Like, where are we going? Okay, oh yeah, here we go. Game Freak building! And that thug hanging out right outside. All right, so there's a couple people that we want to battle here, right? Pokemon, uh, oh. <laughs> Where's Lily when you need her, right? No wonder Rotom says, hey, maybe you should use some healing, right? Come on. You mean that Lily did not heal my Pokemon after we defeated Rainbow Rocket? Like, what's the deal with that? Rotom's like, maybe you want to check your bag. And I say to that Rotom, no, man. I ignored you throughout the entire Let's Play. You did not hook me up with a second Z-move against Mewtwo, dude. You and I are not friends, Rainbow Rotom. Rotom Dex. Whatever your name is. And this guy. No, I'm not ready to pick up my Lycanroc yet. Get out of here. We gotta get that IV checker before we do it. Alright, here we go. Whoop. So, we're gonna jump on in. And uh, let's go get our shiny charm. And uh, we'll be set. Okay, hello everyone. Hey you! Let me show you a top secret document I've managed to acquire. It's regarding the Ultra Warp Ride. Don't tell anyone I have it though. Oh yeah! There are ways. There are two ways to control your movement during the Ultra Warp Ride. Motion controls or the Circle Pad. Do you think you could tell me which one you prefer using? Uh, Circle Pad. Thank you. It's fun to slide around with the Circle Pad, isn't it? See, there you go. So the game is not completely broken. Good. Oh, you're a player? We've been making games here. What color would you choose? Man, I don't care. Oh, okay, the type that- okay, got it. Dude, I'm not. I'm not right now. We gotta go talk to Morimoto, man. You! Uh, I'd say I'm pretty up to speed on Pokemon battling and the director. Well, he's not as good as me, but he's not as bad. So what do you think? Wanna take us both on in a Pokemon battle? Yeah. Good, let's do this. Hey, Ewal. Tuh. Yup, I'm here. What, what did you, huh, a battle? All right, then I'll be aiming for victory. Not a doubles. Oh my gosh, a doubles. Whoa, and look at this NPC that probably looks like him. Wow, Morimoto and Iwao, great. That's an NPC that they, has a customized face. Cool. I'm all for it. Coming to a slow crawl in these double battles. I feel like I'm going in slow motion. See ya. 
Cursed Body, what? That's right, Cursed Body. That's a pretty decent ability. I don't know why they nerfed him though, man. That, that was terrible. When they got rid of Levitate on Gengar, man. Protean, what? Ah, Shadow Claw, that's strong. Dragonite, wow. Just like old times, am I right? Dragonite, here we go. So in Pokemon Sun, this was a single battle, which is pretty cool. So Psychic is disabled. I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolt on Kecleon and call it a day. I love Dragonite. That is my favorite Dragon Pokemon. Lycan Rock, 78. Ooh, good. Dragon Pulse, here it comes. Super effective. He's not gonna have multi scale. Oh man, dropped a Draco and missed. Oh, it's terrible. I'm so sorry for that. But you brought Blissey? Oh man, that's gonna be a bad time against all of us here. But uh, I might as well T Bolt against you. Why not? Just in case I don't get the, the, um, the full damage. What? Oh, he did have multi-scale. He totally did. That's why he was able to survive that. Anyway. Dragon Pulse on Blissey is not going to do anything. That's real garbage. Blizzard! Wow! Who avoided? I did. That's times four. And a Machamp? Oh, man. These Pokemon are huge. All right, well, I'm going to keep on wanting a Blizzard. I know you are. Air Slash. Uh... We can use, well, I could use Air Slash. Maybe we'll get the, um... Maybe we'll get the flinch, or it doesn't even matter. It's gonna be a two of KO anyway. We got the Paralysis, and here goes the Air Slash. And yeah, we're leaving Blissey in because we need a physical threat to knock out Blissey. Blissey's special defensive stat is like the highest. And her HP stat is like the highest in the entire game. Blizzard times four. Here he comes. Yeah, I think I could stay in on this though. Oh, 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 oh Wow That's insane. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm not gonna stay in. I do have a beast boost though, so I might as well I know I'm gonna end up losing though. No, you know, we're gonna u-turn out And Raichu, Raichu's just gonna- no, I'm not gonna keep him there. Come on. What kind of Pokemon trainer am I? Leave a frozen Raichu over here? No, forget that. We're gonna do a physical attack or Lycanroc. No, but Blissey though, do not mess with Blissey. She will seismic toss you. She will toxic stall you. She'll destroy you. Look how much that U-turn did. That just comes to show like how weak her defense is. Oh man. Oh my, oh. <laughs> Blissey with her ability, Serene Grace, she does indeed have the the highest chance to freeze in the game. So I do like Blissey in that, in that sense. That's crazy. Incineroar's Flare Blitz melted the ice. That's cool. There we go. You use a fire move from the inside of the ice. When did that become a thing in the game? I don't know. I'm very curious now. Like, when... Like, I always thought that that would make sense. But I don't know which generation introduced that. If any of you guys can shine some light on that, that would be really cool. Where if you freeze a fire type and you use a fire type move from inside the Frozen... You get thought out. Like, Scald does that too, doesn't it? I'll eventually be the strongest, and uh, it'll be awesome. Nah. Oh, so that's your strategy? Not bad at all. You're really good too. I really thought we might whip you, but... Well, you sure got us in the end. Very good, really. You raised some great Pokemon. Let me heal them up for you. Thank you. 
And here, I'll give this to you too. With one of these, the Pokemon you drop off at the Pokemon Nursery will have a better chance than usual of finding a Pokemon egg. Is that the Oval Charm? Yeah, what about the Shiny Charm, though? We'll fight you again sometime if you want. Just once a day, though, okay? So come back tomorrow, though I'll probably have forgotten you already. Alright, well, we got the Oval Charm. We need the Shiny Charm. One of you guys has it. You. You. I'm the game director. Oh, I know what that face means. It's the face that says you filled it in a Pokedex. Let's see what you've done. Whoa, you've registered all the Pokemon that can be found on Melee Melee Island. Nice. Look at him jumping for joy. I don't remember that in the previous game. I'll go ahead and give you a new stamp to commemorate completing the Pokedex. Here we go. Bam. Cool. Thanks, dude. There. I'm glad I didn't mess that up that stamp. And it looks like your trainer passport leveled up too. Come see me again if you manage to fill in another Pokedex. All right. Yes, we have. Cool. Give you a new stamp. Bam. Alright, come on, keep them coming. I got two more. What else you got? One more, dude. Bring it on. that invigorating expression you've got on your face? Could it be? Are you here to show me a Pokedex? Whoa, no way. You've completed the entire Alola Pokedex. It's amazing. Amazalazing. You're too much. Cannot compute. This is really, truly an astounding feat. Congratulations on completing the Pokedex. All right, then. I'm going to give your trainer passport a super special stamp. I've been holding back this whole time. Here we go. Bam. Nice. Cool. Looks great. Oh, there. I may have stamped that one a bit harder than necessary, but I couldn't uh, seem to help it. I feel honored that I get to help a great trainer like you celebrate your achievement. I really want to reward you somehow for your mastery in Pokedexing. Let's see. What can I dig out of my pocket? Boy, I feel like a picker-upper. My secret base was gold rank, by the way. And ta-da, it's a shiny charm. Just having one of these makes it more likely that you'll encounter shiny Pokemon. There we go. You open up the key pockets, put it in, and that's not all. Here's something special that would go on a tireless uh, trainer like you who's been running around all Alola to fill your Pokedex. Sweet! You received a set of Karate Gi jacket and Karate Gi pants. Oh, that's great. We can we can be like him if we wanted to. That's awesome. Cool. Uh, let's go zoom around and it'll be ultra fun. Uh, what, are you going to warp me over there? No, man. Tap your eyes. Let's go. So we got our shiny charm. That's great. That took another 15 minutes or so. Your chance of encountering shiny Pokemon are about 4,000 to 1. He should really adjust. He should really adjust what his text says after getting the shiny charm. You know what I mean? Because it's not 4,000 to 1 anymore. It's, uh, it's a lot less. I don't really know the numbers, but yeah. So that's pretty great. We got ourselves a shiny charm. We got ourselves a, a karate gi outfit. I'm going to go find somewhere where I could change into that. Can you do that in a Pokemon Center? No, I don't think you can. You need like a clothing shop. 
or something. Like, what the heck? I don't know. Uh, what am I doing in here? Do I even need my Pokemon healed? I don't. So, Karate Gi? You know what, the only clothing shop that I know of is all the way on like Route 1 that I remember. So, let's do this. I'm pretty sure there's another one nearby. This is the shopping district. We're gonna go to the apparel shop right in here. We're gonna check out that Karate Gi so that you guys can uh, pretty much see what it's all about. It's gonna be fun. Karate Gi! And we can also jump into that mall and the mall will have uh, the availability to use QR codes and scanning them in. So Magirna is totally a possibility. All right, so we do have a Pikachu shirt. Here we go, Karate Gi jacket. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. And then we got Karate Gi pants. Yeah, we look like Ryu from Street Fighter. Nice. I, I think I'm going to wear it. I'm gonna wear it. Yeah, let's go. Cool. Uh, would you like to change into this outfit? Yes, I would. And you know what? Whenever you wear this outfit, you have already beaten the entire game. You've gotten the 100% Pokedex. You've done it all. So that's pretty great. Although the, the red shoes don't really go too well with it. I may have to go shopping for some different shoes. But anyway, let's continue on. What we're gonna do right now is we will head over to Pony Island. There's a lot more to explore over here in Pony Island, as you can see. So let's head over to this area. Actually, you know, I could have gone to Vast Pony Canyon. It doesn't matter. There's so much that has opened up right now. Literally, I can go inside the Ruins of Hope and I can go catch whatever Tapu is over there. I can go back to the Ruins of Conflict and go catch Tapu Koko. We're gonna try doing all that, but trust me, what I wanna do beforehand is I want to unlock the IV Checker. And the IV Checker, if you're a competitive Pokemon battler like me, the IV Checker is absolutely important with uh... What? No, we're not doing this right now. <laughs> I'm not doing this, sorry. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to get this fool. Make it out of here. Sorry. But the hint of it is still lingering. See? Yes, it is. All right. So, that's fine. I mean, we can go do some Naganondal hunting if we wanted to. That's... I mean, not Naganondal. Blacephalon. We can do some Blacephalon hunting if we want. But, uh, no, not right now. Uh-uh. No, I want to I wanna complete Pony Canyon. I want to get my IV checker. Let's go. Mian Xiao, you think I have time for you? Even though I did eat, like, two high jump kicks the other day. That was pretty tasty. Uh, we're going to go for a super effective air slash. Call it a day. Done. We got this lucky egg that we're holding on to, so we're going to get a lot more experience than normal in order to get him up to speed with everyone else. All right, here we go. Give me this. X special attack, cool. Blacephalon, really? I'm not ready to capture you. I don't have a synchronizer. I don't have foresight and the ability to false swipe. No, no. And Blacephalon is too strong too. Like literally his like mind explosion move. It's pretty insane. He just wants to be captured. I'm not going to, though. We're gonna run. Alright, don't go in the grass, Karate Kid. Oh, what was that? Dang it. Ah, oh, forget it. It's not worth it. Ah. Dang it. <laughs> That's okay. You know what? It's an exploration episode. That's what we're gonna do. So anyway, our comment question today, let me know. Let's talk about how you guys beat Giovanni. I'm very curious. But of course, if you guys have super level Pokemon, and I hear a lot of you guys are transferring your level 100s and legends and stuff like that from your previous versions, which is kind of fun. It's kind of fun to see, like you like going into super easy mode. You're like, oh man, I got fully EV trained level 100 legendaries and we're just gonna wipe the floor with Giovanni. But is that fun? I don't know. 
to each their own, right? I'm not going to tell you how to play the game. And I expect you to do the same thing, so... Play the game however you want. As long as you're having fun and as long as you're actually playing the game, that's all that matters to me. Yeah, get that big beast boost! Triple B! Alright, Incineroar, 73. Good. Let's up. Uh, Marowak, I'll stay in. I'm a dragon type. I can resist his fire type attacks, but he may have a ground type. So, there's that. Let's go Let's go. Dragon Pulse. It's stronger than Air Slash. And I do have the Beast Beast, so... Done. Just the speed of that HP. You can tell. Like, if you play this game a lot, you can tell. Like, the speed of how fast the HP is draining. It's gone. Braviary, I'm staying in. Braviary could outspeed me. It's typically a fast Pokemon. Nope. Plus two Dragon Pulse. Beast Beast, gone. See? That speed of the HP. Out of here. Special Attack 201 stat. Dang. Nice. That's pretty good. I don't know, man. I kind of want his... Uh, I kind of want to re-EV train uh, my Naganondal so that it's just max speed. So that when it gets a beast boost, it'll be uh, a little bit better that way. Oh, you want a little tete a tete with that Z-Power ring? <laughs> what did you just call me? All right, so he says go beat everyone up and then we'll go, we'll do a fight with them. All right, so this is the Vast Pony Wilds. You're gonna get attacked by Scythers and other random Pokemon in the trees, good luck. Or monkeys. You're gonna get you're gonna fight pig monkeys inside the trees, so watch out. Put your repel on. What do you honestly think you're gonna do? Waste one power point of mine? Other than that, get this guy out of here. Primeape. No one uses Primeape. Doesn't he have anger point as an ability? Where if he gets critted, he gets max attack? Oh, that's crazy, man. It's a crazy ability. It's so situational, though. It's really garbage. Firo? I guess you can't really use uh, Max Repel against these, um, I guess, like, overworld Pokemon that dive in and attack you. We're going to try out a Sludge Bomb. It's relatively strong. It's still the same type of attack bonus. Pretty good. Wait, what was that? Oh, a swift wing. Cool. Duh. Okay, I don't think I want to drop there yet. Oh, but there's a cave, too. Is that Resolution Cave? I will right, we'll go explore it. Power Anklet. Hey, that's some pretty decent item. Power Anklet is for EV training. Oh, uh, what are you looking for, yo? That sounds like Team Skull, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Good job. I tried to forget about Team Skull. Look at this. Wait, hold on. Police Officer Sheriff? Police Officer Sheriff. Is your name Sheriff? Are you the Sheriff? Like, <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Who are you? Like, what is this guy? All right, here we go. We're going to go for another Sludge Bomb. Stoutly. Get this dog. Oh my, that's pretty good. Roar, okay. Look who's dragged in. Decidui. Not bad. Alright, Lycan Rock. Yeah, our Pokemon are doing pretty well. Are you for real, yo? I think I am. I'm very much for real, yo. What's the deal, yo? Alright, so there was... Oh, not this guy. So, I gotta do both of the ways down in order to get those items, and then we're gonna go take a look at the cave right inside there and see what we can find inside. Hiker Ryan? Oh, uh, time for this. Hurry up. Oh my, Aerodactyl, yeah? That's pretty cool. Where do you get a fossil Pokemon like that? Well, I guess you could go to the fossil store on that one island that Olivia uh, kind of works at or whatever. 
So we're going to do a Dragon Pulse, neutral. I managed to outspeed him. Aerodactyl is one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. Iron Head? Eh, it's alright. I'm 10 levels higher too, so that kind of helps. Conflicts produce nothing, but from Pokemon Battle springs a sense of mutual respect. Alright, dude. Sure. Don't come near me. Oh, I gotta go in the middle. For this one item. A Comet Shard. Alright, we can sell that for some money. I mean, we don't necessarily need money, but... Uh, here we go. Bag. We're gonna use... I'm gonna have a Repel. Max Repel. I still have 17 of these, that's great. Yeah, I don't really want to mess around with wild Pokemon. I'm at a point in the game where I don't really care. I mean, we transferred a lot of our Pokemon from the previous game, and that's cool. I mean, you guys can do, oh my gosh, what the heck is this? Comonium Z, what? Oh, that's one of the exclusive Z crystals in this game, cool. That's awesome, you got a Comonium Z. So I don't have a Como O on me. I'm sure if I look in uh, Pokemon Sun, I can have one, but yeah, that's pretty great. We got a new Z crystal, and that's where you find the exclusive one. So if you guys have been using Como O uh, as one of your teammates, hey, now you have the opportunity to use some Z moves. Kind of like the exclusive uh, Lycanium Z and Incinium Z. All right, let's get you out of here. Sludge Bomb, done. I figure we might as well beat this guy up. We'll get a little bit of experience because we're forced to. And we got a couple more minutes of the episode, so let's see what else there is to do. So we got some trainers. Uh, we've got some grass, dude, uh, Scyther, right? Oh, a little, um, Wiscot, Cottony, Whimsicott. <laughs> Hmm. What are we gonna do against it? It's very fast. But we got a couple moves that we can use against it. We can use Air Slash, we can use Poison move, anything. Sorry, dude. That was really not even worth it. It was like seven, 700 experience. Not even worth it. Okay, let's look. Anything over here that we're missing, there shouldn't, we shouldn't have to worry. Oh, I just ran right in front of her. <laughs> We're just going at the speed of at the speed of sound, rolling around at the speed of sound. Angela, I'm here for you. Gorbis, okay. Gorbis, and then what's the other alternate one? Gorbis. I don't remember. All right, here you go, Dragon Pulse. Though strongest move I've got. I hope you can take it. Gorbis with Shell Smash? Oh man, that's a nightmare to fight against. If you let it set up, though. Naganondal. You have the opposite one. Yeah, Lorandas? No, you don't, actually. Sorry. Okay, nice pants, dude. Here we go. Enjoy. Oh man, look at all these moves I have super effective against it. That's just a bad matchup. I'm sorry, you had some bad luck there. Alright, Angela, thank you for that. I'm gonna do some Roto Lato. Hey, what do you know, egg hatching? Oh, sweet! Carbos? Eh, not as sweet as I thought. Yeah, we'll use another one. Let's go! Okay, so we got that lady out of there, which is one of the trainers that we have to get. Let's kind of see what else there is. There's actually a lot to see, man. Uh, right at the end of the episode, Dexio and Cena, come on. How are you, Abdallah? I heard that you became the uh, Lola champion, congratulations. While you were getting stronger doing the island challenge, we were looking into the Z power ring. It's so mysterious. 
uh, to be talking about mega, mega evolution here in a region so far away from Kalos. But we are trainers. Rather than explaining it all in words, why don't we just show you what mega evolution is? In a doubles battle? Oh, all right. All right, Dexio. Aspion. Ooh, I don't know if I want to stay in for this one. I'm going to. I'm going to attempt to U-turn out. I'm going to attempt to U-turn out. I'm eight levels higher. I'm very fast, but at the same time, Espeon's very fast too. Okay, so I got lucky. Normally, I would not be able to outspeed a fully invested Espeon like that. Here we go. Espeon doesn't have a Mega Evolution, so we're good. Psychic. Ooh, predicted. Predicted. Sorry. Power swap. What? Dang it, no! Oh wait, that's just stat changes? It's not like... That one time? Okay, cool. That seems a little like a waste of a move slot on an Espeon? No way. What do I run on my Espeon? I run Hidden Power Fighting. I run... Hmm... Psy Shock. Hidden Power Fighting, Psy Shock. And I think Dual Screens? Yeah, I run a dual screen magic bounce espion. That's what I do. Max speed, max special attack. Alright, here we go. We're gonna go Thunderbolt. Yeah, that's good. But breeding for hidden powers is just so hard. Oh my gosh, it's very hard. You gotta get really lucky. Come on, Dexio. Let's see the Mega Slow King, right? Oh no, it's Mega Slow Bro that has it. Alright, whatever. Who's he gonna bring out that's gonna Mega Evolve? Raichu? You don't have a Mega Raichu. This is not a thing. Uh, I can do Incineroar against Mega Raichu. I was, I was honestly surprised that there wasn't going to be like a Mega Raichu. I mean, he got an Alolan form, which is pretty cool, but like, Mega Raichu. It's just so huge. What would it look like? And I mean, Pikachu's like the flagship character of all Pokemon, you know? I don't know. Thanks, Raichu. Decidueye, level 79. Oh my gosh. Metagross, I'll stay in. Now the Mega comes out. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, what? Why aren't you Mega Evolving? Done. Ooh, not done yet. Brick Break, okay. It's fair. Not that strong, but it's fair. All right, he's saving that Mega Evolution for the very end. At Mega Alakazam, wow. Wow, 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 he's gonna rock me with that Mega Alakazam. He was he was saving it. And that thing is fast, guys. That, oh, but I got Crunch, so I'm gonna be fine. He totally weakened a lot of my Pokemon, though. Mega Alakazam, it's happening. What, is he gonna use Focus Blast and destroy me? Probably. Oh, wow, look at that, dude. That is so unfortunate. And he lost because of that miss. Well, you know what? You know what you're getting into when you use shaky moves like Focus Blast. That's why everyone calls it Focus Miss. My Pokemon each gave it their best. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. The trainer holds a Keystone. The Pokemon holds a Mega Stone. And that's how you make your Pokemon Mega Evolve during battle. You can use a Z Power Ring. So you must be able to use a keystone that makes Mega Stones resonate. If you have a keystone, you'll be able to make your Pokemon hold that Mega Stone and Mega Evolve. This is a Mega Stone that makes Alakazam Mega Evolve. It's called an Alakazite. I'll give the keystone and Alakazite to you. Hey, we got the keystone. We can do Mega Evolution now. Excellent. And here's Alakazite. 
You know, when you think about it, the Z Power Ring helps the feelings of a trainer reach their Pokemon so it can use its team move, right? If only uh, it only follows that it should be able to achieve Mega Evolution too. We'll be taking our lead for research now, Bon Voyage. Alright, so we'll have to go talk to them a little bit later and uh, pretty much discuss uh, all the Zygarde stuff. Like, they have all the Zygarde cells and whatnot. You can get a 10% off of them. We gotta go to Resolution Cave and get the 50% Zygarde. There's actually a lot happening yet in this game. And we're just really just scratching the surface. The game really opens up right now. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. We're gonna continue exploring the Pony Wilds, Pony Island, until we get the IV checker. And then I'll just be like, wait, lift it off my shoulder. It's gonna feel so good. Then we could finally redeem our, um, our little rock rough. We can go do some checking of all the Pokemon in our boxes, all that fun stuff. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll continue on the with even more of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon uh, very, very soon. So watch our playlist, newest video on the channel there, recommendations, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're updated on the latest and greatest. Answer the comment question today, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.